on your next Disneyland trip, you're going to find all sorts of surprises along the way. And mystery. And intrigue. And wonder. And intrigue. And we've got 10 things that they won't tell you that we will. Hello everybody, welcome to RTD Adventures. My name is Brian. I'm Jacob. And we are here to talk about things on your Disneyland trip that you are not expecting. These are 10 things that for some people may seem obvious, mm -hmm. but for others, they may not be. So the things that Disneyland doesn't tell you, we're here to cover those. That way you're not gonna run into any unpleasant surprises. So starting off this list, we're gonna talk about the trolley tracks on Main Street. So this is something that quite literally trips people up all the time. <laughs> Good one. When you get to the park for the very first time, you're excited, you're overwhelmed with just being in the atmosphere. You're walking um, down Main Street looking at the castle, and then you trip on one of the trolley tracks and twist your ankle, and yeah. the whole trip is just gonna be difficult from that point on. So this is one of those things that you need to be completely aware of every time you're on Main Street, because it happens more than you realize, and you don't want to sprain an ankle to ruin your trip. Another thing that might seem obvious, but no one's gonna tell you this, is limited edition or limited time merch is very difficult to get. Um, people are also looking for that. You're not gonna be the only one looking for that limited time merch. Um, it's kind of scattered throughout the parks. You may find specific merch in one store that may not be available in another. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something for specific and you see someone wearing it, make sure you uh, maybe stop them and ask them where, you bought, where they bought it. So that means if you know that there's gonna be a special merchandise on sale when you're in the parks, look for that right away. If it goes on sale, there's a chance that that might sell out actually the same day. This is true with things like the popcorn buckets when they come out with special versions of those. People line up as the park opens and they sell out really quickly. Yeah. So if there's something you're wanting, make it a priority. That way you're not missing out. And along the lines of limited merchandise, there's also limited snacks that are hard to come by in certain cases. So these are things like special items that are themed after um, events that are going on or seasonal items like the candy canes. Mm. Some of these treats can sell out really quickly. Um, in particular, the candy canes sell out almost immediately yeah. after they go on sale. On. So if um, your priority for your trip is a little bit more along the food side of things, make sure you're getting those special treats early on in the day before they have a chance to sell out. Another thing to note is Disney Genie Plus. The prices will change often. So you're looking at different days will be more expensive than other times, especially during busy seasons like Christmas, uh, during basically holidays, and of course weekends. So you'll see that those prices are a lot more expensive than other days. So just keep an eye out and keep that in mind before you go. And this variable pricing for Genie Plus only affects when you're buying individual days. Mm. If you purchase Genie Plus for your entire trip ahead of time, the price is fixed on that. So if you know you're gonna be getting those Genie Plus passes every single day, it's worth it to buy ahead mm. because you're gonna save versus the variable pricing. And let's go back to the merchandise thing. When you're in the shops, there's a lot of really cool merch that you're looking at buying, but remember that a lot of the things that are for sale in the shops are also available on Shop Disney. And they might even be cheaper on Shop Disney too. So it's worth your time to actually pull up Shop Disney and check out to see if the merch you want is available online. Buying it and shipping it to your house is gonna be a lot easier than having to buy it in the parks. Yeah. Now there are a lot of really cool merch items that are available only in the parks, but that's why it's worth checking out to make sure that you're getting the best deal. Now some people might be thinking that these are pretty obvious tips, but if they are, I have an obvious question for you. Why haven't you subscribed yet? It's what are you doing? Do. And it's free. All you it's gotta free. do Hit is the button. click the subscribe button. It helps us out a ton and it helps us bring more great Disney content just for you. Another thing to keep in mind is anything you build or buy that's very large, you're gonna have to carry that around all day. Um, that includes things like lightsabers, the droids that you can make in Galaxy's Edge. Uh, just, but it's some, something that's important to keep in mind just because walking around with all that on your back, like especially if you're wearing a backpack or if you're making someone else carry it, uh, just know that it's it's a lot of weight to you know for 12 hours of walking around uh, to be carrying around. So just know that there's also the lockers that are available. Um, it's not always fun to have to walk back to your hotel just to drop stuff off. So maybe like schedule those things towards like the end of a day or at a time that you think you're going to be going back to the hotels uh, right after doing these events or you know building these droids or lightsabers. But yeah, just keep that in mind. All right, now something that Disneyland will tell you is mm -hmm. that they offer free Wi-Fi. What they won't tell you is the Wi-Fi is not very reliable. No. So 
When you're using your phone to check ride times, when you're trying to book your lightning lanes, you're using Genie Plus to book reservations, this is where the Wi-Fi can be pretty important, right? You don't wanna have your phone just not work at all. So <laughs> we recommend um, using your data. Yeah. Okay. Now that's not always the most reliable either, but it's gonna be a little bit more reliable than the Wi-Fi, especially in the middle of the day. Yeah. Okay, earlier in the day, late at night, the Wi-Fi might be all right to use, but in the middle of the day when it's really packed, doesn't matter what kind of system that Disney is using, there's literally tens of thousands of people that are on the same system. And so it can get pretty bogged down and make the Wi-Fi experience not too enjoyable. Another thing Disney won't tell you is that California can get hot. And when it gets hot, you sweat. And when you sweat, it's very uncomfortable to be walking around eight, 10 hours. Uh, I mean, or even just getting off of a, a ride that makes you really wet. So you might do a lot of chafing. So here's the thing. Uh, we do recommend that you bring like baby powder or the body glide stick. Now these things are gonna save you guys just because uh, I've been there, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, I didn't bring anything into the park and it was miserable and you don't wanna have to be the person to be like, okay, uh, I don't wanna go you know, walking around and you have eight hours left in the park. Um, so just save yourself, get some uh, you know, baby powder or the, the body glide sticks. So those will save you. And another thing that Disneyland won't tell you, but we will, is that your feet are gonna be killing you. This is a terrible problem that a lot of people experience and don't expect either because you're maybe not expecting to walk as much as you are if you've never been to Disneyland before. Let me tell you what, you walk you're gonna a walk. lot. We're talking 10, 12 plus miles per day if you're in the park all day. Mm -hmm. So the important thing that we always talk about is getting a good, reliable pair of walking shoes and getting yeah. those shoes broken in before you take your trip, yeah. okay? Now, I'm not saying that this is gonna completely make your feet not sore, right? You're still walking a lot for your entire vacation, but it's gonna make the longevity of your trip a lot more manageable. Yeah. Speaking of being very hot in California, another thing Disney won't tell you is it's super easy to get dehydrated while you're on your trip in the parks. Here's the thing, you're gonna be you know, taking in a lot of caffeine, sugar, um, the sun's out, you're gonna be walking all day. It's very important to drink lots and lots of water. Uh, you can check out our videos uh, that we've done before talking about how important it is to bring maybe like a canister to keep your water cold. Uh, but we just recommend just drink lots and lots of water. It'll save you, make sure that you, you know, are staying hydrated and safe. So we just covered 10 things that Disneyland doesn't tell you. We gave you that information and there's a couple more things that can actually help you prepare yourself for some of these things. And that's yeah. some of the essential items that are necessary to bring with you to have the best trip possible. Yes. We made a video all about that. So there's gonna be a link up on the screen. Just click or tap and it's gonna bring you right to that list. And we just wanna say, we really appreciate you guys for tuning into these videos. You know, we're still growing. It's a slow process, but hey, I, we just really appreciate you guys for tuning in. And uh, yep, just check out our other videos and that link below. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.